Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 108 of Daisy Knits. I'm Daisy, we're hanging out up here in my crafting area, and you can kind of see the hot mess that is my house behind me. So, we're going to hop on into this today. I have a lot of things that you've seen kind of previously happening, but we'll see. Nothing, to me, nothing exciting right now, but that's okay. First up is what I'm calling my avocado socks. Well, hubby's avocado socks. Because somebody said they look like an avocado and I totally see it. These are Happy Go Lucky twin set. So I had two balls that were exactly the same and I am working two socks concurrent. So I have two crazy socks and they are neon flaming bright gorgeous things. I am on ribbing. He loves a long leg so heel turn and then I did maybe an inch and a half and went right into ribbing. So I have a basically gigantic leg of ribbing but I'm almost done. I told him I would make the leg as long as the foot. So I have um inch and a half, two inches maybe to go on these. And these should be done this week. Kind of happy. This is just a vanilla sock um, that I am working on 64 stitches and a German short row heel. So this might be the last week that you guys see these. The other thing that I've done this week is a lot of master knitter work. I am trying really hard to get as much done over these this past week and this coming week as I can because <laughs> I'm going to put it all aside for the Olympics. So last week I think I showed y'all I had done a pocket and I think I'm happy with it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my swatches, I'm going to try to do them all and when I think they're good I'm going to put them aside, put them in my binder and then um, before I send it off I'll probably pull them all back out again and really evaluate them and see are they still, do I still think they're good? Because now I'm really questioning, is that good enough? Is that good enough? So my pocket is done. And last week I had showed you I had done for like um, the neck of a sweater. I picked up all along this edge and did ribbing. I'm, I'm uncertain right now. I'm, doubt, I'm questioning myself of whether or not I've done a good job kind of it doesn't pucker here, but it kind of is close here, so I'm not certain. I'm going to let this sit for now. I really like how it's laying, but I'm going to let it sit for now. So, two swatches there that I think are okay. I have to weave in ends, but I think that are okay. And then I have two more little parts that are going to be seamed together. So basically, I'm going to seam these just like this. And then this swatch I think will be done. Although I will have to reblock this one because for some reason I feel like it's not straight. I don't know what happened there. So another another set of swatches done. I have lots of swatches. <sighs> lots of swatches. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen part of these. The other thing that you've seen is I started the wristlet. So um, it is a fair aisle wristlet that's part of Master Knitter. I am freely willing to admit I am not a big color work person. I don't typically do a lot of color work. So this is a stretch for me. I'm really pushing myself and really learning. I hear children and apps going. So anyways, this is take three of my color mitt of my little wristlet. Can y'all see that? I have to say though, I'm really happy with it so far. It hasn't been washed or blocked and I do see a few stitches here and there that are not perfect, but I really am happy with it so far. The question of whether or not this is going to be good enough is going to happen right here in this line when I go to weave in these ends. But that's going to be what makes or breaks this swatch, I think. But um, I will also tell y'all a little when knitting attack story. I cast the first one of these on Tuesday night and I was like, I'm going to get this going. I'm going to really sit down 
focus on this and I'm going to get it get a good start going. I don't think I'll finish because I'm really being mindful every row, making sure my floats are good. So it takes me a bit of time. But I cast on and I got through this whole little blue section here and I had just gotten into the white and purple. And to me that looks like a ribbon that's curled around. And I got partway through row one, round one, and I realized I had a made a major mistake. I was four stitches short. And at first I thought, well, maybe I've just done this pattern wrong. Let me count. So I counted my stitches. I had what I thought was the right number. And then I counted, you know, per pattern, and I was still four short. And then I flipped the pattern over and I looked at it, and I realized I had cast on four stitches short and worked this entire section four stitches short. <laughs> I apparently should not cast on anything after 9 p.m. That was my lesson of this thing. And to always check the cast on stitches three times, not twice. But it is moving along. So, I, let's see, I might get this done before this weekend. I'm, I should get this done before the weekend. We'll see. Little Man's birthday is tomorrow and then on Saturday we're doing his birthday adventure so depending on how all that goes will depend on how far through that little wristlet I get but I am trying like I said to get a lot of this done before next Friday because Friday I get to cast on and I am going to try to knit a sweater during the Olympics I'm I'm crazy excited about it I won't lie and I'm sorry y'all are probably gonna see the same one project for the whole time but for like two weeks you're gonna see the same project so I'm sorry but I'm very excited about it so that's all I've been working on um, I have been doing quite a bit of dyeing which you can see some things well maybe you can't the dyeing the drying rack is right through there so you might be able to see it um, that's all gonna be prepped up and packed up to go with me to the pipeline retreat which is in three weeks from tomorrow so, if you're coming to Pipeline, let me know. I'd love to see you. Come say hi. Otherwise, I for sure will sit with y'all next week if you come back. I'll talk to you later. See ya.